Yeah, yo, yo, let me tell you something. Bro, I miss you, man. What's going on? I miss you too. Can you turn that up, brother? I can't hear him too yeah, good. So I gotta loud. hear the beautiful voice. It's a loud <laughs> How you doing, my brother? I'm here. I'm here. Glad you're around. Glad you're doing your thing. Listen, I know it's limited time. I got you to rush. I appreciate you took your time out. I appreciate that, man. Really, I do. Brother, you know that for you. Just uh, Sometimes it's hard to get me out of bed. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, I'm like, all right. I got my boy. It's his birthday today. Happy birthday. Happy like, birthday, bro. Happy, Happy birthday. Coming out. Tell, him who, tell him the name, brother. Yeah, what up, what up? Ali Sigari, man. Ali Sigari. A-L-I-S-I-G-A-R-I, man. Peep me out. But, I mean, it's legend. It ain't about me. It's about the legend right here. I'm in the, you know, I got the, I got the honor to be in the presence of a legend right here. We grew up in the same area. Yeah. yeah. You know he grew mean? up right across from Allenberry. He grew up in Godstone. Okay. 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 Good. Yeah. I was like, so, so how's yeah. everything, brother? How's everything? How's the people out there? How's everybody going? Listen, bro. The, I think the world's missing you right now because they feel, you know, first, first before we even start. Before we even start, Snow, I just, I, I got to let everybody know they're logging in around the world right now. And this gentleman here, such an honor for me to call him my friend. He came to me one time when we, I interviewed him at the radio station because I'm always on his career, always on his career, always pressuring him to come to make sure he stays relevant. He's, he's locked in because he's that talented. He came and he gave me school supplies, bags. Of, you remember? You yeah. remember? Yeah. He course. gave me he gave me school supplies to give. I went to Jane and Finch. I opened my trunk and they just started coming everywhere because I announced it. But it was thanks due to Snow who gave me that uh, to give to the kids. And I went to the Jane and Finch rec center, opened up my trunk one day and uh, they just started coming out and we giving it to the kids. This uh, is the Canadian icon. This uh, man is a legend. <laughs> I'm telling you. I love that you did that. That was a beautiful thing. That was a beautiful it, thing. But, you know, we so, we it did it. We did. It was a beautiful. We thing. did. Yes. We did that. Yes. And I just want to say thank you because you know. Let me tell you something. My Shannon, I'm an Adeline here, bro. My name is Emsy Shannon. I'm an I got my Emsy Shannon. <laughs> 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 So I just want to tell you, thank you very much for that opportunity to give back to the community. And I really, really respect that, man, because not many artists would do that stuff. You know what I mean? He just called me one night and said, yo, meet me, Wiz, right now. And bam, it was there. Uh, so big up to you, Snow, for that, man. That was a big, big thing, man. Well, you know, listen. Uh, let's do it again. Let's do it again. Yo, let's do it again. Yeah. Just, yo, I'm going to send you my number. We do it again. Because yeah. the kids need it, especially in these times. Uh, um, you know, you've had hits upon hits upon hits. You've traveled the world. We in our culture, the, the reggae culture, have embraced you because when you came in this culture, look, it was look, all look, real. Look it was all good. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? You see, it? you see what he has? You see what he has? Right? So... Let's start. How did it all start, Snow? Like, how did it how did it come about that you wanted to deal with this culture and you love this culture? Um, my neighborhood where I grew up, Allenbury, the state one. Allen. Yeah. So when I grew up in Allenbury, it was a place by Don Mills and Shepherd over there, Allenbury, and uh, Don Millions from there, Scrappy, all them, you know. So, yeah. um, when I grew up there, I was the first person to live there. You know, I was the first person to move there. So I started, you know, it was mostly Irish, a lot of Irish in the neighborhood. Yeah. And, then, uh, and you know me, I had my long hair doing Kiss <laughs> concerts. And, you know what I mean? I loved Kiss growing up. I love rock and roll. But my yeah. mother, she only liked R&B. You know, Rick J, Etta, Etta, Phoebe Snow, Etta James, all them kind of stuff. You know, uh, her favorite band is um, uh, uh, Isley Brothers. So that's yeah. what she is. But I'm rock and roll. I'm following my older brother. Yeah. So then all of a sudden, bing, ding, 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 bong, ding, all these Jamaicans started moving. Ding, 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 ding. A couple of Trinidadians <laughs> over there, Trinidadian over there, boom, a Trinidad, chip, Jamaican, ding, ding, ding. And they brought beautiful. They brought beautiful. They brought smells to the food in our neighborhood. 
they brought me hip hop. The, the, the family who, who moved right there, right next door to me. The, the year I was born is the year that they, the, of the door number that they, they moved in, the Brown family. Yeah. yeah. So the Brown family, they were like, hmm. my mother and Seton Brown would have battles. Because this is when Luther Vandross and, and, and Freddie Jackson was hot. And my mother was yeah. Bill Isley, you know, Isley Brothers and playing, you know. And she yeah. would be joining them and, and Seton would be playing, <laughs> come with some Luther. And she'd be like, who's that, Seton? He's like, Luther. <laughs> She's like, I like it. Right? So they'd yeah. be back. So me still rock and roll, right? My first, we used to do Kiss concerts. And I lived in a housing project, right? So I used to do Kiss concerts in my neighborhood. So the Brown family, the Jamaican family, real Jamaican, the mother, you know, was real Jamaican, right? Yeah. I couldn't understand a word she was saying when I was growing up. And I'd look at Seton and, and Tony, I'd be like, you understand that? <laughs> yeah, when she'd be up like, and I'd be like, yo, that's amazing. So anyways, she let us have our first Kiss concert down oh. in the basement. So think about it. We're splitting. I'm 11 years old. I'm spitting blood. I don't know nothing about hip hop. I don't know nothing about reggae at this time. You know what I mean? This yeah. is before that. I'm 11 years old. I'm doing Kiss concerts in a Jamaican house downstairs. She's upstairs cooking curry goat. And I'm downstairs, blood, blood fire. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like how, this is how we grew up in Toronto. This is how we yeah. grew up. How, what, like that don't make sense. A Jamaican family letting some little, Rockers do their kiss concert, blowing fire and spitting blood. <laughs> like, yeah. down there. Easy. So then years later, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, five years later, I still got the long hair. You know, I still got the long hair. I remember I could pull it from the back here and say, look how long it is. Look at the long. Right. So I would walk past all the Jamaican guys and then seat and be like, yo, I didn't have snow. I wasn't snow. Right. Say, Darren, Kid Maze. I was Kid Maze, but they called me Darren the D. Let me cut your hair off. <laughs> He's like, let me cut your hair. So I'm like, all right, Seton Brown, the Brown family, big, big family in Allenbury, big, big family yeah. in Allenbury. Yeah. So I'm like, all right. So I went in the basement. He cut my hair. Seton Brown cut my hair short, short, and put these round little glasses on me. And I'm like, yo, I came out in Allenbury in the hood, like, yo, I my walk different. I got rid of all that. Now, now, now it's on. Now it's on. You know what I mean? <laughs> then I got my Jamaican pendant. Right, and I had my mountain bike, and I had my Jamaican sticker on my mountain bike. That was yeah. it. I was hooked. You're hooked. OT Tennessee. You know what I mean? Like that's the year I got into it. Eighty-five, eighty-six, like hard. I didn't grow up with reggae my whole, whole, whole life. You know what I mean? I got into yeah. it like, just after hip hop. When I was hip hop, then I got into the reggae, and the reggae, reggae just took me over. When I had Coca Tea and all that. I got the hair short. I got the round glasses on. I got my mountain bike. I got, I'm going to the peanut plaza and getting Mr. Jerk. I'm getting my curry goat. I don't eat curry goat no more. I ate it too much every second. I was Jamaican, but I was, I was Chinese when I was younger. I was Bruce, you know? But then I just did yeah. the food, the culture, the music, the style. Yeah. The, 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 and remember, I never been to Jamaica. I only had visions. The closest I've been was my neighborhood and grandma, right? We used to call her grandma, Seton Brown's right. grandma. We used to call her grandma, and she would sit me down and say, Jamaica, nice, and have this, and that. And, and I don't know why she's really telling me all these stories, sitting me in the, in, in, but she's they're like teaching me and teaching me. And so that's where I got everything from. I got my hip hop from the Brown family. I got my reggae from the Brown family. I got, you know, so. Yeah. Yeah, so that's good. So, so it started there, and, and then your first time going to a studio to start recording now. And then that's the Jamaican trying to come out now. You did because we didn't reach Jamaica yet, right? Oh, no Jamaican yet. I still, I'm still. See, where I got my confidence when I go to jail. So I go to, I get charged with two attempt murders. Now I'm in jail. I'm on the pen range. I'm with killers in there. So I'm there and I'm, I'm singing only Tennessee Coca Tea songs and I, I'm not writing nothing. I'm just singing all their songs. Everybody in there is like, yo, 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 yo. And plus, all my family knows me. I'm in there with my brother and my father, all in the same cell. And then everybody else is like, yo, this is 89. They're like, who the hell is this white kid? I'm singing Coca Tea and you know what I mean? Yeah. And then when I got out, you know, we went to New York and then that's when I hooked up with Shan and then Shan brought me to the studio for the first time. I'd never been to a studio. And Shan was like, yo, do a harmony. I was like, what's a harmony, brother? I was like, let me go get some. Go <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so that's when we got to the to the studio in New York. 
studio. So the first studio was New York. The first real recording studio was New York. Yeah, New York, where Kid and Play did the, there, and 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 you know, and remember MC Shen, he's the one who produced Rock Kim. A lot of yeah. He produced Rock Kim's first album, him and Molly Ma, right? Oh wow! Okay, yeah. I didn't know Molly, that. Yeah, they did it in the bridge. They did it right there, and so, so Shan was like, yeah, Shan was like, you know, amazing. So, but that was it. I met with Shan, and then we just see. I didn't want to be a singer. It wasn't like, yo, I want to be a singer. And here's my demo. Here's my. I didn't make no demo. Yeah. Shan on the corner. He's like, yo. I was like, come on. He's like, yo, come to my house. I was all right, but I have nothing else to do. And you're cool, Shan. I like your music. <laughs> I liked him better than KRS One. I liked his tone. You right. Know, KRS One had, you know, whatever. But I love Shan's tone. I love Shan. I always did. So right. When I started working with him, I just, he just, he taught me everything I knew in 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 that way in the studio ways and stuff. And that's when Informa came out. You, the collab right there. The, yeah, the that's why you know, hip hop because Shan added all his hip hop and you know me growing up hip hop and then reggae and. Yeah, so I didn't really want to be, a, you know, a singer. I was just like having fun. Like, okay, let's do it. Sometimes I don't even say words and mumble and this and that. And yeah. Even Tony Kelly, a big uh, a, a reggae producer, he stopped the session one time. He said, Snow, what language do you speak, brother? What language are you speaking? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, brother. It has to do with some islandberry thing. It's the Irish, the Jamaican. It's like all. You know, he's like, what language is that, brother? I said, I don't know. But I have fun doing it, and I just have the love. So, and that's what Jamaicans really, I found out when I went, I was scared to go there for the first time, you know? Yeah. Like I, I, I wasn't scared of, of the people because I already know the people. The people are beautiful, I know that. But me singing, I don't know how this is gonna go down. You know what I mean? Right, right. So now I'm in Jamaica, I'm like, oh, I don't wanna do this shit. Uh, I, want, I wanna be blessed through it, I don't wanna do this. I'm nervous as hell. I meet Coca T in the backstage. I says, Coca T, this is one of my like, you know what I mean? This is a guy I looked up to. Coca T is one of my singers. Junior E, Coca T, Michael. These are my singers. Like, yo, I, you know what I mean? That's where I got all my styles from. Is these yeah. Guys. Yeah. I mean, Coca T, Coca T says, I said, yo, I don't know if they like you. He said, what's no, they love you. He said, I'll come on stage with you. I said, all right, shit. If we get bottled, I'll just blame it on him. I'll be like, yo, you messed up my shit. <laughs> <laughs> right? So he came on and blessed me, came on the stage and blessed me with it. And then from then on, I just, Fell in love with Jamaica, boom. I just stayed there uh, to do my next album. My, my second album, I stayed there. And like, I stayed there for like two years. I had my daughter there. She's Jamaican. She's born in Kingston. I, I just, yeah, I just, just fell Wait, in love. Wait, well, you have a Jamaican born child? Oh, yeah, yeah, I have a daughter. Yeah, 24, same as, yeah, I got, I got my Jewish one and I got my Jamaican one. So I got my Jamaican <laughs> Irish and I got my Jewish Irish. So, you know what I mean? We're good. We're all good. So wow. even they carry him yet. So she's, you know. I never knew that. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So you go to Jamaica now. Oh, yeah. I got kids. I got everything else. Then the record company comes to me after a year. And they said, all right, let's hear your next stuff. And I said, brother, I got nothing for you. <laughs> I've been drunk in the bars. I've been kicked out of half of the Kingston bars. <laughs> you know what I mean? I said, I got nothing for you but a, a pregnant girl. And that's all I got. You know what wow. I mean? But then I, I, I came to and then I, you know, hooked up with Junior Reed, Ninja Man, everybody in and, you know, so rest, Ninja Man, so, you know, yeah. I like Ninja Man, I love him. So, and that was it. Then I just fell in love with Jamaica. So it was, that was, yeah, that was it. How did the, the, the collab of one of the biggest songs ever recorded, ever, Big. anything for you? How did that come about? Let me tell you. Let me tell you the, 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 the beginning of it, though. Okay. The song you're talking about, I will do any, anything just for you. I'll make you feel happy and I check. Hit the damn beat, now me, I'm boom, boom, boom. You're the demon of the competition, the teeth, but I'm just all on top. I'm good with all your might, something like that, right? So yes. Watch it now. I'm in Toronto. I'm doing the next album. I'm with Herbie Lovebug. You ever heard of Herbie Lovebug? He's the one I'm... who produced, uh, Bum, 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 yes, bum, yes, bum, yes, push, yes. Push. He did a lot of songs, big songs. Yes. He loved Bob. He came, he came from New York. He came here. He says, all right. But I'm at the Hells Angels Clubhouse. I'm at the clubhouse drinking. All right, all right, all right. He's like, yo, brother, you, we got to work, man. We got studio. I'm like, studio? Well, I'm drinking. You know, this is when I drank. He said, we got to go. We got to go. We got to leave. We can't go to Jamaica because you're just wild. And you're just going to go wild in Jamaica. He goes, let's go to Bermuda. 
you don't know nobody in Bermuda, do you? And I'm like, no, I don't know nobody in Bermuda. <laughs> He's like, let's go to Bermuda. I'm like, all right. Even though people are big up, people from Bermuda, there was two guys there. I forget their name. Kali Baj is from Bermuda. Anyways, big up them. But so what was I saying again? So we said, we got to go to Bermuda. So we said, okay, let's go to Bermuda. So we rent a house in Bermuda, right? So on the way to Bermuda, I get my bottle of whiskey. Jameson's Irish whiskey. Oh, ho, ho, brother. Woo. Irish, so I get that at the, at the airport. So I boom, my bring it to, you know, I'm, I'm, we're in Bermuda now. So I haven't opened up the bottle, but I got my bottle somewhere. So now he's, he's got the drum machine set up in the front room, and you know what I mean? And I'm like, yo, where's my bottle? Where's my bottle? He's like, yo, I'm not, I hit it. I'm like, what do you mean you hit my bottle? He's like, yo, I hit it. We got to do some work, brother. You just keep getting into that drinking. You drink it. I said, where's my bottle? And I'm following him. And he's like, I'm not telling you. I'm like, I will do any, anything just for you. Uh, give me back my bottle. Don't make me feel blue. He's like, yo, that's it. That's it. We ran into the front room. We said, I will do any, anything. So boom, we did it on, on a, on a hip hop-ish kind of beat, right? Did it, and then the record company brought it to Tony Kelly. And then Tony Kelly just blessed it with, with, uh, with Beanie Man, Buju Bantan, Terra Fabulous, and beautiful Nadine Sutherland, uh, Louis Culture, Culture Knox. Like, they just blessed me with that. When I, we did the video the same with Hype Williams. We did the video the same time as we did the song. Because I came back and I did my other verse. I beat Nami and boom, 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 boom. And they say, Snow, talk Chinese, talk Chinese. I beat Nami and boom, 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 boom. <laughs> you know? But, and then I was just so blessed to see Buju be. You know, everybody just there in the studio. I'm like, yo, these guys are killing this song. And and to tr tell you the truth, the when when Louis Cultures, uh, uh, we cross the ocean, uh, and protect my portion, loving a slow motion. When that part came on, the whole studio went crazy. He got the most craziness when that part came on. Everybody, fabulous, being everybody was like, yo. So that was the part that, that got everybody going in the studio. So, and then we, we did it. Did the video, put it all together. And then I went to Stone Love. Boom, now I'm in Stone Love. And Stone Love played it like five times in a row. And I was like, oh man, we got one here. It just sounded so good. I remember back then, nobody was doing collab, whatever that word is, collaborations. Mm -hmm. Right. You, know, you yeah. know what I mean? There's only one or two guys doing it. One, seven of the top guys in the whole, reggae music and, or, or the dance song. Worldwide, but they were still in America. They were like, well, how is this white kid in America, in Canada, Toronto doing this reggae? There's no Jamaicans in Toronto. They didn't know about how we lived up here, you know, until right. anything for you came and then everybody was like, oh yeah, he's blessed. So they, you know, really like, you know, so solidified it for me. You know what I mean? That that song. <laughs> yeah. Snow, I, I have an argument with people, and I'm trying to tell them that for Canada, the reggae scene was probably broken through because of that song. Mm hmm Would Would you agree? Uh. Oh. I don't know. It helped. It helped. It helped. Like I don't know. But like. I mean, the international success of that song. The oh, international. That's, the biggest, that's like 53 number one. Like, yeah, that's probably like the biggest Canadian reggae song. Six and, the US and, and, no, not that. Seven, seven. No, not that. Right? <laughs> yeah. Right. So, but that had to do with, again, that had to do with uh, 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 Beanie, Bougie, all of them. You know what I mean? Yeah, I yeah. No, everybody together. But. Yeah. Are, are representing the the red and the white came through you because you're from here. You're you know you're from. Where, it's hard. You know? It's hard to say that because how I can't represent really. I can't represent. Okay. You know what I mean. I can't uh, uh, bless it. You know what I mean. I get uh, 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 you know these guys here. They got they rep. They I I'm just with them. You know what I mean. Okay. So yeah. I just, yeah. I, don't know, I just love true. music so much. I could have done country. You know what I mean. Baby, 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 and now don't you don't just say me. I could have went country and sold back billions of records. You know what I mean? Yeah, I looked yeah. on the billboard. I'm like, holy God, these guys are selling trillions of albums. Yeah. I can't do that. I got yeah. it in my heart. And that's the reggae. The reggae just captured me and conquered me. You know what I mean? Yeah. Just, it, yeah. so, I don't know if I did anything like, you know, I don't know. I don't know about all that, but I just, yeah, I just, yeah. I'm blessed to, to live here because I knew if I lived in, 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 in New York, say New York. I would have been a Westie, an Irish, 
killer probably. Something to do with some Irish something, something because it's so segregated. I didn't have a Jamaican family grow up right next door to me. Yeah. Isn't that beautiful? We live in this country where I have a Jamaican family living right there and, and bring me my life. They gave me my whole, you know what I mean? So it's yeah. like, I'm, we're so blessed to be here and we're so blessed to, uh, to have the cultures that we have here. And, and the Jamaican culture is just, and, and it's so close to the Irish. You remember the it Irish is. and the Jamaican it is. You know what I mean? It, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, listen. When I met you and, and, and you talk, I didn't I didn't see you as anything else but a man in our culture. That was it, man. I didn't see you, the Irish. I didn't see. I just wanted a DKO jacket, a leather. I just wanted that. That's all I really wanted to be. You know what I mean? Like I just wanted to be, you know, part of the clique because yo, I'm telling you, people. If you ever have a chance to hang around Snow, just tend to laugh. Everything is a joke. Every single, you can't take him serious because, yo, yo, remember when we were in Ottawa? It was insane. I couldn't stop laughing. Bro, I couldn't stop, bro. I couldn't stop. It was just insane. Then it's one shot, it was crazy. Uh, like, you know, so right now you're telling us that anything for you started over the Irish bottle. That's what it started yeah. over. Yeah, the Irish whiskey had nothing to do with a girl. No. <laughs> It's the love is the love of the alcohol, yeah. brother. I'm sorry to break it to you, but it's the bottle. It's the bottle you know? And she's green. She's a green <laughs> bottle. So you know what I mean? Which is a little weird, alienish like, but wow. it's it, it it was blessed to uh but no. Seriously, seriously, you have a beautiful culture. Yes. You have a beautiful culture that that it, it just Oh, I just, I got hypnotized. I was hypnotized. Mm -hmm. I had the headphones on and that was it. I was, yeah. reggae. reggae music just captured me and, and, and a lot of people were scared of it. Like, you know, growing up, you're scared of the Rastafari. You're like, oh my God, these guys are the bad. These guys are evil. These guys are bad. When you grow up, you find out, oh my God, these guys are the nicest people in the whole world. You know what I mean? It's like you find out the real, the realness of, 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 of the, of the music and they try to, you know, but I don't know. I love it. And you love it. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. now you have, you had the big hit in Pharma, then you had anything um, for you. And then there was um, Legal. Was yeah, that before? Legal, yeah. Yeah. Right. Um, then there was Legal. Uh, <laughs> then there was, I, I know, did you do a love song? You did something. I have some kind of track from you from a long time. But you, you came different. It was I different. Was different. Yeah. Depends on how I'm feeling. I don't, I don't see when I first came with my first album on 12 Inches of Snow. This is in 93. Yeah. Biggie, this is when Biggie, Tupac, this is everybody was hot. You know what I mean? I'm coming out and I'm with MC Shan and I'm, I rapped on that album. I scratched on that album with my mouth. I did the beatbox on that album. I did reggae on that album. I sang, Girl, I've been hurt now. I need another lover. You are no. Bye, 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 bye. You know what I mean? I did it all. Yeah. Nobody yeah. did it then all. If you were a hip hop guy, you had to get Joe Dushi to come on and give you a piece. You couldn't, you look, they, people would look at you different. I didn't care about it. I just sang, rap, did rap, whatever I was taught in my neighborhood, whatever I was taught growing up, that's what I did. So right. I didn't really have no uh, 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 restrictions against uh, what, what I did. Was, was there, I know there were difficult times, but were there difficult artists because of, you know, a, a white man who is absolutely amazing at the craft and doing what he does and doing what he loves? Was, was, there, was there any hesitancy or any disrespect that you have taken that, you know, we don't know about because we're on the outside? No. No, you more, you know more than on the outside than I would know. Yeah, of course. Mm -hmm. people say, what is this white kid doing? Like, what is this guy doing? Like, what is Of course, you know, you're going to have that, but... What am I gonna do? I just loved it. It was in my heart. I just came out and just I just feel it. That's what it comes out. I just love it. So yeah. But, yeah, there's probably some people saying uh this and that, not and this and not not. But once I got to Jamaica and then I I I, I met Ninja and like Ninja, my dear friend, all the way up until now, you know what I mean? Bless so I forgot. Anybody who says oh there's white can you know, or whatever. So you know what it is. Yeah. It's when a white person does it, you gotta look at them differently. You have to, right? Yeah. You have to. It's like this. It's the other day I was watching this guy, Max. What's his name? Max, Max, Maxwell or something. This white kid. Yeah. He's a runner. 
brother. He's leaving the brothers behind. He's leaving the brothers behind. This guy is like incredible. Not because he's because he's white, like holy shit, man. This guy shouldn't be doing this shit. You know? yeah. yeah. That's what yeah. it is what, when we look at the white guy, we say, holy shit, he shouldn't be doing especially reggae music. Hip hop is hip hop. When you're doing a white guy doing reggae, you have to grow with the people. You have to know the people. You have to it's a whole you have to know it. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I just think yeah. I don't know, whatever they feel, they're, they're gonna say it, of course. Why is this guy doing it now culture? Whatever. Yeah. whatever. It's not like no. I came to the reggae music culture and I just took a, and got all the white people and did all my music with all white people. I made MC Shan Mill. I made Tony Kelly Million. I made all these people. You know what I mean? Million. I could see if I came in and just did it with all white people. Said, what the fuck is this guy coming into our culture and taking it and not giving nothing back? That's what I did. Yeah. yeah. So, I agree with you. I agree 100%. You, you know, so now there was a time that, you know, you relaxed off, you, you cooled off a bit. Um, but people didn't know you were still, you, you have a uh, con karma now, right? Oh yeah, I went, I went Latin now. I'm Latin now, brother. Okay. Jamaican, Irish, now you're Latin now. <laughs> you wanna see my belt? <laughs> Check my belt out, brother. <laughs> I got a Latin belt. <laughs> No, he's Latin. Tell me about <laughs> Con Kama. Tell me about Con Kama. I love, I love reggaeton because it okay. comes from uh, a Shaba, a Tony Kelly, a Sly and Robbie. It comes from that drum pattern. comes from the reggae music. So when Daddy yeah. Yankee, you know, they grew up listening to Snow. He was like, yo, Snow, you know what I mean? So they loved the Snow. So when they came with the Inform, I'm like, all right, yeah, that's blessed. And I, can, I like that music, you know, the reggaeton. So I, I'm feeling it. So they came and we did the the, the Con Karma song and, and that went crazy and stuff. So, you know. Yeah. So how, how what what's going on now? What, tell me what's going on now because we have to finish soon. But tell me what's going on now with the EP singles albums. What's happening? I'm. We got a couple more reggaeton, right? Okay. I got a couple more of those. You know, some some guys over there. Then gonna you know Puerto Rico or, or, or Colombia. Something coming out hot. Something nice. And then since the, the COVID hit, I was supposed to be down, go to Jamaica and then work on like a, like a real reggae album, Sly and Robbie. We got Sly and Robbie, did a couple of songs already with them, you know, Anthony Red Robe. We got some, you know, some, so we got, so that's what I want to do. I want to, you know, do a couple more reggaeton, you know, flip on that. That's nice. I like that. You know what I mean? And the yeah. Latin people are beautiful. Latin people are beautiful. Like, you know, we're all one, but the Latin people are like the Jamaicans. They love to dance and move. You know what I mean? So I'm like, oh, yeah, I, I like that. So, and my wife's South American, but anyways, but um, um, uh, the, yeah, so the reggae album. That's what I want to do. I want to go down there and do, do a full reggae album, Slide Robbie, and, and whoever down there, and, and, and just have fun. I don't want to put out no music and say, yo, this song's going to blow up, and I hope this blows up, and I hope this, I don't care about none of that stuff. I love going down there and having the vibe. The vibe of making the album is better than releasing it for me. And letting it out there, then that that's whatever that is out there. I just love having fun, you know, and learning. Yeah. Sly and Robbie, come on, they go to their vaults and they pull out drums from Africa. You're like, yo, he's like, yo, I need a drum, uh, a certain drum, and he'd open up the safe. And go, boom, 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 boom. We're like, yo, you know what I mean? So it's beautiful, and I'm learning, and I'm learning, and I'm learning. Yeah, big up yeah. Whitey Don too. Big up Whitey Don. Yes, yes, yes. Big up, big up Whitey Don and and, and stuff. So, so can we look for you to? Embrace Jamaica, one hundred again. Not not a hundred, no. Okay. Maybe a thousand. Maybe a ah. thousand. I I, I want to do more. I, I feel like I never did. I did. I, I didn't. I gave them songs, but I I want to do more. I want to do much more. I want to do more. I want to do more and more and more and 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 whatever I can do. So I just love. You know what I mean? Like I just love doing that. I love. I don't know. Like I do for yeah. my name. I just love doing that. You know. But whatever I can do. You know what I mean? Because they've done yeah. so much and they're so beautiful. When I was in Jamaica the last time I was there about four or five years ago, when I went to the radio station, they say, Snow, welcome home. And I said, welcome home. I'm not I'm not from here. I'm like, but you know, I know where they're coming from. I'm like, but I'm not from here. But so that's what made me go home and like research. And I'm like, oh, I'm Irish. That's what it is. I'm Irish. The Brown family, when I was 11 years old, he cut my hair. When I was about 15, he cut it and put the round glasses on me. I started getting into the reggae hard, hard, hard. He came up to me and he was like, I understand you now, Darren. And I was like, why? He lived my next door always since I was about 10. He lived, yeah? Yeah. I understand you. And I'm like, what do you understand? He says, you get sick of cell anemia. And that's all he said to me. I was like, what's that? 
he was like, it's a black disease, but you Irish get it. Did you know that? Did you know? I didn't know that. I didn't know the that. Irish, yeah, the Irish get the sickle cell in here. So he came to me and he was like, I get it now. And I was confused. I was like, all right. And it always stuck with me. So I don't know. I guess it's the Irish and Jamaican, you know, the connection. St. Thomas, St. Andrews, all Jamaican, uh, Irish names, right? Dublin, you know, Irish town. Little a uh, Waterhouse, they have a uh, Saint uh, Saint Patrick's School in Waterhouse. Yeah, exactly the same school as it is in Dublin. <laughs> in Dublin. <laughs> yeah. I'm a okay, I got a one question from a, a friend that that wanted to know if, if you can remember. I remember the everything. Dub plate, the, the first sound, the first dub plate that you made in New York. Do you remember what sound was for? I don't know, so I'm asking you if you remember. Uh, I remember where I was because I got what's I, I forget the sound name, but I remember we were in uh, we were in um, oh, what's that studio called there? And I got uh, 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 uh what's Don Juan, it? yeah, Don Juan Studio. And we went there, and across the street, there's a bar there, and 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 there's a little bar there, and that's when I was drinking too. And I got um, <laughs> Nicodemus, I got Chuck Nicodemus, I got Nicodemus to come over, and I'm like, yo, Nicodemus, you got to drink this shot, Zambuca. <laughs> He was like, I want that. He said, it's a Zambuca. He's like, a bazooka? And I'm like, yeah, it's a bazooka. <laughs> me and him were drinking. We got drunk. Me and him got so drunk in that bar right there. But big up that sound there because I, I was, that was kind of like the first times too. And, and yeah. you know, being kind of like, you know, nervous kind of like, not nervous because I've been to jail and everything, you know, but like now I'm doing singing and because, you know, but it went yeah. out beautiful and everybody, every, everywhere I went, every, and like, see, that's the thing with Jamaicans. They look at you, they don't care if you're good. You could be the worst singer in the world, white, Chinese, purple, brown, whatever you are. So, you know, if you're Jamaican, then you, you got a little problem. But if you're a white guy coming and you're singing terrible, but you have it in your heart, Jamaicans will see that and Jamaican be like, yeah, man, big him. Yeah. You know what I mean? They'll give him yeah. love. They won't say he, he's amazing or the best, but they'll give him enough love and, you know, bang the wall for him and, and show the respect. So that's what made me just feel like, I didn't know what I was expecting. I knew from my Jamaican friends here, but now I'm going to Jamaica. I'm not, I'm not, I don't know what I'm expecting. And I meet Junior Reed and Sanchez and Pinchers and Big Up Junior Pinchers, he's DKO now, he's a wicked artist. So, and how they embrace me, they're like, yo, Snow, you just, you just love it. That's it, boom. Yeah, yeah, me. yeah. I was like, oh, I'm, go I'm good now, I'm good, so, you know. And so, Like the dumb play. And anyway, if they would have said anything else, I probably would have punched them in the face at that time. I probably would have been like, they would have been like, yo, it's no, you ain't that good. Like, get out of here, you know, get out of here. Give me, where's that bottle? Where's the Jamesons? <laughs> John, no, stop. Listen, if, if you ever in your life have an opportunity to meet this man, people, and around the world, it's a it's an absolute honor and a pleasure. This man is like so much fun to be around. Everything's a joke. You have to be careful around him. It's 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 all real, real jokes. And when he and I get together, it's like, yo, he he actually helps me to clash people because of the way he mocks me all the time. But yo, it's fun, man. It's hilarious. This man is a real, real, real honor. And yo, I don't care what anybody says to me. Oh, I know what that means. Iconic. Says that. I don't care what anybody says about you. <laughs> Iconic. <laughs> Iconic. Let them, say. Let them say, because you know what it comes down to? It's Jamaican's fault. It's all your fault for making beautiful music, beautiful people, beautiful people from beautiful <laughs> island, you know, for us to fall in love with it. You know what I mean? Yeah. But yeah. Definitely, I want to give back as much as I can and whatever. I try to do as much as I can, but then, you know, yeah. you know Get now we and this I get now we and you know but I don't know but free ninja that's all that's the number one thing I love that free ninja favorite. free ninja he's Yo, the best. he picked me up at the airport and I would tell him I'd be like ninja I don't drive with you past like five o'clock I won't get in his car past five o'clock because he's crazy right he'll drive and he'll be like you ever crash into a cow and I'd be like hey, man and he'll want to crash into a cow and I'm like yo I'd be like yo I'd be like no nah, no nah. yeah I love ninja. Such a big heart, such a big, such a good person. So but. he, he is, he is, he is, he is a good man. That people no, get to know. people though. People see, I'm on a bot, on this, and yeah, 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 whatever, whatever. But I've been in cars with him, where he told me stories about years ago 
where, you know, I'm not saying no names, but some couple bad guys want to do something harm to another person and Ninja will lie. And Ninja will be like, yo, I got some girls in Montego Bay. Come on, let's go. And they'll be like, you sure? And he'll be like, yeah, let's go. Let's go to the like, he don't want to, he don't want to bring him no bone bow bay because he don't want to try them to do any trouble. You know what I mean? So that's yeah. the part that he has. So I don't know. I don't know why I'm saying this part. So, <laughs> so my, one of my final questions, a million dollar question that I have to ask you is what the hell are you saying? When is beat now nah, nah, boom 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 everything what, what, do you know what you're saying? Do you remember? Uh oh yeah, I remember. When I did it, right? I yeah. used to hang out with a guy named Fattis. Fattis used to run Exterminator Crew. That was my good friend. Luciano, Coca T, all that crew. Uh, uh, Sizzla was, was the engineer at that time when me and Luciano did a song together. Sizzla was the engineer. Right? She's a dear friend of mine, too. He's beautiful, too. Yeah. But uh, 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 Fattis said, yo, you got to go to the radio station and, and tell the people what you're saying. Because people <laughs> yeah. are thinking, you're saying, big dick and a poom poom every move. I <laughs> Sorry, my language come too soon. Something like nasty stuff, right? And I'm like, no, nah, that's not what I'm just like beating on my heart. Boom, boom, boom. Guaranteed I won't come too soon. That's the only word I say, come too soon. Take it to easy, girl. And that's all I'm saying. I'm a girl with all your mind. So it's not no beating on my heart, beat dick and a boom, boom. Sorry, my language, but none of that stuff. So they went and they told me, go to the radio station and tell the people, beating on me up, boom, boom, boom. Guaranteed when I come too soon, take it to easy, girl. And that's all I'm saying. That's what it was. So there was, you know, no fair word. Finally. Yeah, it's finally, I, the, the, it's been solved again. Finally, yeah. we finally know what, what he's yeah, saying. Now. Beats, this is what I'm talking about. Even the Jamaicans are like, yo, what language is he speaking? What is what is his <laughs> words? You know what I mean? So I just have fun with it. And I just I just love it. Whatever comes out of me comes out of me. And I just, you know, I don't yeah. miss no. I've been out for 20 something years and you don't hear me dissing no other artists. I don't want to diss no artists. I'm not there to diss nobody, this or he's that. Or, you know, if a white guy comes out like Collie Buds and I say, oh, yo, big up Collie Buds, big up. You know what I mean? I'm loving it. If I love the music, I'm going to love whatever it is. So yeah. I, I just pick up everybody and just, and, and you is, you know that you've been with me for forever. Last time I said, giving them, giving them toys were in the in 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 in, in the parking lot there. Me, it looked like we, were, <laughs> first time we got bags full of toys. We we would have got we would have went down big time for that, brother. Me, and you would have went down. For that. <laughs> bags of toys, man. Bags of toys. Don't watch that. Don't watch that. What you did, you 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 know what I mean. You you set us through, and I was like, all right. And then you just you 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 uh 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 uh, uh what's that word? You executed it, and you went down there, yeah. and then you showed me yourself. So, Bless that, and let's do it again. And and especially now with all this stuff going on, some kids need a little, you know, up boosting and yeah. some, some this and that. You know what I mean? Yo, let me tell you something. So, it was and to the police. You got to tell the police. You got to take more more time to to learn about the law. That's the problem with them. They don't know nothing about the law. You know what I mean? How are you going to get six months in eight a year? My lawyer did twenty five years. He still got to go to the book and look about the law and learn about the law. So we got to learn about yeah. the law. And, and stop fucking around. You know what I mean? Yeah. But so we're gonna let, be good. Let us know. Trust me, we're gonna be good. The world, I know everybody's looking in the world is going through some evil and the guy gets you gonna get But yeah. the lightness, the goodness, the light, the children of the light are coming. Trust me. I know it. When you hear all the <laughs> Rasta are gonna be singing, right? Watch the songs, Rasta Fire are gonna be singing them Rasta, they're gonna be singing beautiful songs because it's that they've been singing. Yeah. Hey, Charlie, yeah. It, Break it down. Let's let it crumble. Let it crumble. Now that it's crumbling and the goodness is gonna rise. Oh my God! Watch out! Watch out! Watch the beautiful watch music. Out. Yo, yeah. we're gonna be good. So what's coming? Is there DKO music coming out? Is that what's happening? Is is? Yeah, I got some artists coming out. You know, just you know, working on some. You know, we got some. You know, some hip hop, little reggae, little all different kind of. You know what I mean? Stuff like that. Some writers and stuff. You know. Whitey comes in, writes some wicked stuff sometimes, you know, so everybody's just okay. working on stuff. So whatever I can do now to like, you know. Okay, so, okay. Yeah, it's like I would rather, I'd rather put all, all my energy and stuff mostly into a new artist and that, you know what I mean? And yeah, and just, just chill, you know, so, so it's like that time. So if I could, um, if, if I could help, I'm going to help. If, if I know I'm in a position, like we have this Latin artist and, and now I know I'm in a position to help him. Like I can yeah. help, him. I can help you know certain people. I can help him now because I know Daddy Yankee and all these people now. So now I, but before I did Kankama, I wouldn't have tried to help him. I would be like, yo, I can't do nothing for you because okay. I don't know what to do with you. But now I know a little thing to do with some people, and 
and uh, we're gonna be working. We're gonna be. We got some big things coming. We got in Jamaica too. We got some big things in Jamaica. So, and that's my main thing. I want to focus on a real Jamaican. You know, you know, uh, 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 album, dancehall, reggae, everything, whatever comes okay. out. Of that's okay. Cool. So you all right. So listen, just just pl listen. I'm gonna send you my number again. So when yeah. you go yard, yeah, we gotta meet in Jamaica still, cause remember I'm the unofficial snow DJ, so I gotta meet be in Jamaica there. So you know, but I, I huh? I said a thousand percent, brother. One thousand. So listen, we gotta go. We gotta take, do this. I, I take time off and I go to sleep and stuff, and people say, "Where is he gone? He don't need it." I ain't really doing too much to, 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 you know, to, 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 to do too much. You know what I mean? But now with the concomitant woke me back up again and said, okay, yo, boom, boom, boom. You know, so now I'm starting to do with other artists. So, so now I have the team coming. We're building this team real strong and got some good people and some good investors and good this and good that and, and all positive people. You know what I mean? Yeah. All positive. Yeah. Brother, I'm, trust me. You come with me. It's the best thing you've ever, it's like, trust me. It's, it's going to be beautiful. Okay, so I'm ready to D. I'm ready to D. I'm ready. I'm Snow's DJ again. Woo! Yeah, bro. <laughs> yeah. We're ready. We're ready again. Yeah. Oh, we're ready again. The only thing I need is I need the, the Daddy Yankee part now. We have, you have to get me the Daddy Yankee part and we'll piece it together for the, the special. Because I, I need the special. I have to have it. You yeah. know that. Well, you got to so. come to the studio next week or sometime. When we come, we'll just jam and you'll hear some stuff and then we go through some stuff and whatever. You know, but yeah, that's all no problem. Week. Yeah, we'll do it. We'll, we'll do it up still. Listen, DKO music is coming. Snow is, is, is still in effect. Snow is still here. Snow is, I don't care. He's our Canadian. He's an icon. He's a legend. He's a man who is like, if you just want to be around him, you just got to be around him. And you got to, got to, got to just be able to have fun and you know be able to embrace uh laughter and that's what snow to me is is, is really all about man it's, it's just fun and fun and more fun and yo listen and you've known, gone you've over... known me for a long time you've known me for a long time see snow yeah, man yeah. never change there's nothing going to change snow not since my not... birth all the way up no con com is concessed the biggest two billion hits on youtube with all that you think that that know nothing for me you know what I mean? I love it, and I love all seeing all the people dancing, and I love it, and I respect it, all that stuff. But you know what I mean? Just stay humble, and just and that's it. There's nothing that, that, that there's nothing in this world that can unhumble me. Nothing. Okay. There's no hit song yeah. that one with the biggest Latin artist in the world. So that 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 I'm still humble. So that there's nothing that's gonna unhumble me. You can drive up here in the, in the thing with a plane. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Well, maybe be so I'll be I don't know <laughs> <laughs> I want to fly <laughs> but listen you big know, up Frank you know every time I talk to you it's beautiful and everything you know you know it is big big up Frank big up Frank eh anywhere Frank is he's right here where's Frank uh, show Frank show your head big 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 okay. shout out what up Frank big up big up big up DKO for life <laughs> look, look we got the Persian look at the Persian where's the Persian you can see the Persian. Oh, yeah. The, okay. Show the rug. Look at the rug. We got some Persian rugs. Look at the rug. Wow. This guy's living, still living it up. This is snow. This is snow. This is not my house. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking think I got Persian rug on my this floor? I'm Irish. This is one of the DKO guys. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Green goes not Yo, me. listen. <laughs> The so next week, next week I'm coming to the studio. We're chilling. Yeah. We're chilling. We're yeah, chilling. Yeah. Studio next week. We're yeah. live, and, and, and you know I love your opinion on on this different stuff that you know. When so I want to play you some different things, and I want you know I want you to. Read All, your right. Opinion. All right. So we'll do that. We'll do that. One hundred, Frank. Don't Frank. Don't leave me. Yeah, Send right. the number, Frank. Yeah, Send yeah. me the direct number, and those things, ladies and gentlemen. This is Canada's iconic living legend. I. Don't care how much times I tell you, Snow, Daddy Snow is a man of honor, a man of respect, and a man who just loves to produce his music and everybody enjoy. Mm -hmm. Heart of Stone, I guess somebody, somebody keeps talking about Heart of Stone, but I guess you'll let us know all about that. I'll keep hitting you all with music because I'm always, always yelling at him. You you got to keep relevant. You have to come for this interview. You have to. I've been bothering Frank for like weeks. 
You have to do this. You have to. And see it there. It's proven. You know Don't watch no numbers. Stuff, it's proven. You're well loved. With all this stuff, but I love it. I love it. You know? Yeah, man. You're well loved. Well loved. So big up. Big respect. Thank you so much for taking the time. I know everything is, is you know, rush, rush, but yo, big respect to you. Seeing and we're going to link. We're going to link next week so I get the new music to pop off. Like, you know, and that's how it is. See? Amazing, so, Big up the world. Big up anybody who you want to big up and, and thing. Big up Spicy876 for me, Snow. Just say big up Spicy876. What? Spice what? Spicy876. Spicy876. Big up. Yo, big up Spicy876. Beautiful. There you go. And big up Jones in for me. Big up Jones in for me. Jones in for you. Jones in for you, Jones in for you. There you go. Jones for some new snow music. <laughs> there you go. All right. So we'll see you. We'll talk to you. Up, I'm going to big up all east. Yes, of course. South and boom, you know, West. I want to big up all West, uh, everybody, you know what I mean? All the way West, yeah. even all the way, Rexdale, Ramp, all the way over there. And uh, all the Jamaicans everywhere, you know what I mean? I know you're beautiful and just stuff like that. And the Irish and the Portuguese and the Persians and the whites and everything. <laughs> and all the people, I just want to big up everybody, you know what I mean? You know, that's the one thing we're, we're beautiful and blessed we're, we're having here. You know yeah. I mean? You can't, it's hard to be racist when you grow up in a place like Toronto. Seriously. New York yeah. City. Seriously. You know how hard it is to be racist in New York City because we're all mixed. We're all, you know what I mean? Down in the South yeah. countries, them whites are them, but they're, they're separated and they're not nowhere near nobody. Here you can't be here. Yeah. You, got it. you got it all. So big up Canada, yeah. Toronto. And, and I'm telling you, uh, 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 if, if, if they start fucking around like they're doing in the States up here and then, and Trudeau starts, whatever he starts doing, I'm going to have to step in and then we'll take a stand and we'll, we'll, we'll run the country right. We'll take it. We'll take it to a better place. You know, I'm right there with you. We'll, you know, I'm right there with we'll you. See, we'll, see where, we'll see where it's going. But if they start <laughs> fucking around, we're going to end up, okay, let's go. We're going to end up, we're going to start coming to saying, yo, let's go. We want to go politics. We go, pal. We'll go. It's for the people. Yo. No, you know what I mean? But that's another Listen. story. It. My dream is I'm going to talk to is to work on anything for you part the second edition. Uh, That's my dream. That's right. my dream. Well, we'll go to the studio. We'll, we'll think of. We'll talk about it. And okay. We'll do anything just for you. Make you feel. <laughs> Anyways, be up in farmer. You know, sitting in the stormy ever blame. I to do them You know, I was singing Kung Karma wrong the whole time. I was like, yeah, I, I saw, I heard, but I was like. He changed it. But big up everybody and, 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 and I hope and I'll see you next week and I hope to see everybody soon and, and, and bless and you know that's Yo. yeah. Snow, respect and honor. Yeah, that's sir. And we'll link you. We'll see you. We'll see you next week.